What is up, YouTube? Boy, what we have going here is a concrete pour. So, my buddy's here with his concrete pump. Hi. This guy builds concrete swimming pools all day, every day. <laughs> and this is what the foundation looks like moments before the pour. So, I've got my scaffolding set up around the outside. Um, we've got the hose lying in the form. And we're gonna start at the far end and pour our way back around. So I've probably described this in other videos, but we're doing a first lift within five feet of the top of the wall or four feet of the top of the wall. And then we're gonna let it set up a little bit so that it doesn't just basically, it, so it doesn't pour out the bottom of the wall. Um, we're doing a mono pour here. And so, we're basically forming the footing just kind of with gravity and letting it set up and then we're going to pour on top of that and then uh, when we vibrate we want to make sure we don't go down too far otherwise it'll start to loosen up that bottom pour and it'll probably leak out a little bit still not devastating it just means more concrete so we've ordered two trucks we've got a seven yard truck is that right yeah seven, and seven yards and coming and then we got a nine yard truck coming. We're gonna space them out so that that concrete can set up a little bit. We may have to clean the pump in between. Depends on how it's setting up. I wish it were a little hotter today, but um, I think we'll be all right. So I'll try to, uh, I'm running a time lapse up top. So you should be able to see kind of the over overview of the, of the site. And then I'll, I'm gonna wear this GoPro on my head so that you can see what kind of disaster we're gonna get into <laughs> <laughs> so yeah here we go
momentary. Okay. It just stopped for a moment. And then, yeah, it's still on. Maybe it's slowing down. Yeah. We're pushing 1,900 pounds. That's enough, yeah.
it's much later in the day and the pouring is done. I'm exhausted. It went unbelievably well. It really couldn't have gone any better. We had like one plug, no big deal. Uh, cleaned it out, maybe two actually. But, you know, went down in the wall, vibrated it, screeded it, put the anchor bolts in. No blowouts, no leakage. I mean, it was really just a fantastic, um, fantastic pour. I can't believe it's done. This has been like seven weeks in the making. You can see actually the inside here we shot with concrete to kind of encase the dirt so that uh, my crawl space is not just a bunch of dirt. So super psyched about that. I've got burlap here to keep it from drying out too fast. I am super tired. I like worked all day yesterday preparing for this and my back was killing me yesterday and then pouring today holding that hose full of concrete my back is super tired today it's a crazy amount of work i would never recommend anyone doing this i mean that's not fair to say i think specifically what i'm referring to is i would never recommend someone doing this in the same way so on the ledge i don't know it's too it's too difficult for somebody to take on that's not that's not like a concrete contractor uh a monopore great idea yeah um definitely do a monopore there was we had no problems with that um icfs yeah sure no problem as long as you're not on ledge um, the ICF monopour thing, I think worked really well. In this situation, it was absolutely perfect. We got the pour done in one day, but it, it took four times more preparation and building. Um, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure the value is quite there. Anyway, I am like super low energy, so this video is probably coming across like that. The weather just turned perfect. Um, we've got clouds. So this was like super hot for a while. So yeah, oh man, it hasn't really sunk in yet. I'm still a little too tired. Um, it hasn't sunk in that this is finally done. Like, whew. thanks for watching.